Hello everyone, Luke for Smith here. We're going to do a review on the Samsung T5 332 inch Smart TV. It is a full HD TV. I'll leave a link in the description to the unboxing and setup video that I did for this. Um, this is a bit delayed. It's been over a month since I got this TV and I did say about two weeks so I'll do a review but I never got time with it. Now, this is actually paused. This feed is coming from the um, the Skybox. The reason why I'm running it through the Skybox at the minute is our aerial is um, a little, the actual cable for the aerial. It might be a bit water damaged because we're getting no signal. If you press source, I'll, I'll actually show you here. If you go to TV, hopefully it's working. I don't know. Yeah, it should have come on by now no signal nothing um what i'm going to be doing though um i'm just going to show you what the tv guide looks like um oh yeah i might as well just show the um remote control i'll just do a little pan down you got all of your um streaming buttons here your volume up and down channel numbers source button and um on and off button so let us press the guide here I'll show you the guide if I can get onto it. There we are. Okay. No information because obviously no um, no antenna um, is receiving at the minute. Uh, basically, what I'll have in the um, in here uh, your like quick features like what what the buttons do and stuff. You can basically scroll up and down and select a uh, what. Um, thing you need it also has like tv plus in the um top right corner as well as next to it the date there and the time uh, it's automatic time because it's connected up to the internet so you just choose a one and then you just go on to it uh, obviously no signal but if we go to uh let's just go to here uh, let's pick HDMI which is my um, Sky is plugged into it. I paused it because if I play it, this is going to get copyrighted. I don't know if they'll copyright for a screenshot. I don't know. Um, so let us go home. If you press the home button, which is this button here, press that. And it will bring up the little home thing here. You can get notifications if you've got any notifications for your um, internet TV, privacy choices, or your um, the actual account. But if you go across here, you can get um, certain apps and things like Samsung TV Pass, Live TV, Terrestrial, Netflix, Prime Video. BBC iPlayer, which is free, I believe. Hopefully, they don't want you to take out a license to do it, like they're scamming over a TV license. Uh, you got ITV Hub, you got I Apple TV, you got that, whatever that is. You got YouTube, which I'm signed in anyway. I already made a video on how to cast a video from YouTube to a smart TV. You got ch Channel 4. Um, um services you got the gallery um yeah that's um if you put an ASD card or something you can choose that you got internet you can use the internet or my five um so the internet basically internet tv it always comes a standard for the um, internet basically what you what you can do you can use the um the arrow buttons to um choose something you can do this and this will bring up a good thing is that you don't have to use the actual numbers to write down you can just choose them like this uh, so let's go home again uh, le and let's let's actually go um, exit out of that go back here and exit again uh, let's try these quick buttons here so let's say if you wanted to go into Netflix press the Netflix button it will come up and get a little animation because I've never had Netflix before um, and you can go join or sign in 
uh, let's say if you wanted um, Amazon Prime, you press the Amazon Prime button or Prime Video button, and it will instantly like take you there. I mean, yeah, if you if you have an account, sign in. If you don't, you can register. Um, but it will want you to register if you don't have an account anyway. Uh, but you need an Amazon account to use it. If you got one, then you can upgrade to your Amazon Prime. You can do the same for the um, other f other one, which is R Raccoon TV. I'm really not quite sure. So let's just go exit here. Let's press the home button again. And you can even go with um with um YouTube TV. Uh who's watching um if this is like a family sort of thing, so if like other people has a YouTube channel or YouTube account, they can choose um, whoever accounts they need. So I just go on mine and basically signed in as me. Uh, so let's go back home again. And to be fair, I've already shown off most of the things. Let's just go here. This is free TV, no strings attached. Oh, this is the Samsung TV Pass. You've also got things like um, apps like T UK TV Play, Britbox, BBC Sounds, and um, Apple Music, um, as well as search for a um, specific service. You can go here for the source, or you can have the settings here. So let's go fully back here, and let us press the if I can find it. There's a mute. You got the channel list, so there's the turn. You got the settings here. Which will bring it up. The settings button is a very small button. It's it's this one here. I know it's a bit blurry, but the buttons are so small. For the settings, you've got picture mode, uh, which obviously you can like, adjust the um, picture, um, as well as like you got the sound mode. Um, if you've got a Wi-Fi speaker, you know, it's greyed out. But if you had like a sound bar or something, the third option down would be your setup for the um, sound bar and everything. Uh, you've got broadcasting settings, you've got general settings like if you want Apple AirPlay settings or like device manager and network, if you needed, if you got a new router and you needed to change your password on it, then you can do that. You've got support and you've got the privacy there. You can even update if there's any updates on here. Now the only thing that I was unable to do on, on this... Um, on this um, TV, uh, I was unable to connect it up to my Samsung account so I can use um, Alexa or Google Home on it. Um, it's not a big loss because I've already got a, a um, Google Home um, in my room anyway, so I don't really need to use it. But every time I use the app on my phone, to um, search for the TV, it picks up the TV, but for some reason it will not connect to it. I don't know why. But like I said, for me, it's not a big loss. It probably won't be a big loss for you either. It's like a minor thing that they included with, with, with these TVs. Um, if you've got like Google Home in, in the house anyway, or get to use your phone to Google something, then that's pretty fine. So like I said before, it is not, not a terrible big loss. Um, uh, that is all the features that I found with um with this TV. Uh, I might as well the the actual remote. It does feel very light, like here, even with with the batteries in it. If I can get the um, thing out, yeah, yeah. These are the batteries it cut with. These are the batteries it came with. Uh, it takes some um, two triple A's. You just put the um that back on it like that. This feels light and it does feel cheap, but that's the only problem with it. It's not that robust. Um, however, it does it it does it does the job. It, it seamlessly does all right, I suppose. Um, oh yeah, this is a neat thing. If you turn the telly off, it just goes. Doo -doo and let me turn it back on again. There's a little red light indicator light. Yeah, it always brings up that little menu when it when it comes back on. Um, just exit out of there. Yeah, there's a little. The actual sensor for it is down there underneath the um, TV, um, and it and it glows red when the um, TV is turned off. And after 
I think after like an hour or two um, of, of it being on, it will start a timer. Uh, I think it's like a 300, and, a 300 second timer where after that it will go off unless you press OK on the remote to boot, back, boot it back up. That's the energy saving um, feature. So it shuts off after a certain amount of time. Um, right. Uh, I think I said enough about this. Um, final words. I love this TV to bits. It is really good. You can mount it on the wall or use the legs that it's on to um, do it. Um, the hardest thing to set up this um, this TV is to screw the legs on. Unless you've got a magnetic screwdriver that keeps the screws on, you're going to have a hard time. But I managed to do it and it's pretty sturdy the, the way I did it. Um, I believe it's got two HDMI's in the back of it and um, as well as the usual stuff that you find it doesn't have a scarp because it's not old um, so I think that'll be done for this uh, review I'm gonna get it up on um, next Tuesday uh, Tuesdays are my review days and maybe Thursday depends what what reviews I'm doing uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this review and I'll see you guys next time in another video